Hello, this is Progressions and Series Lesson 2. In this, I will discuss basics of AP. AP stands for Arithmetic Progression. Now, here I have written three progressions. In the first progression, you can see that 2, 4, 6, 8 up to n terms. Now, you can see that this is an AP, Arithmetic Progression. How we used to check whether a progression is AP or not? You can see the difference. Term number 2 minus term number 1, this difference. Second term minus first term, the difference is 2. Third term minus second term, T3 minus T2. Again, this is 2. You can see that difference between any two consecutive terms is same. 8 minus 6 is also 2. So, any progression in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is same is called as AP. And the difference the difference between any two consecutive terms is called as common difference that is D. Common difference. It is denoted by D, small d. Common difference that is 2. So in our case, in the first AP, the common difference is D that is 2. The first term is called as A. So this A will be equals to 2. The first term is denoted by A, small a and that is 2. And the common difference is denoted by D, that is 2. Con common difference is difference between any two consecutive terms. How D is defined? D is defined as nth term minus n minus 1th term. You can put any value of n. D could be, your D could be T3 minus T2 or it could be T10 minus T9. 10th term minus ninth term t 10 stand for 10th term t 9 stand for ninth term so that is the meaning of common difference t n minus t n minus 1 same way your second progression is also an arithmetic progression you can see that here the first term is called as a that is 3 a is the first term what is the common difference common difference d c d common difference common difference d is equals to how much you can see that 7 minus 3 is 4 this difference is 4. 11 minus 7 is again 4. 15 minus 11 is again 4. So this is also in arithmetic progression with the common difference d is equals to 4. Take out the third progression. 16, 12, 8, 4, 0, minus 4. Now in this case, first term a is called as 16. And the common difference d in this case is not 4. Very important. Common difference d is tn minus tn minus 1. If you put n is equals to let's say 3 you will get t2 minus t1 that is second term minus first term so second term minus first term 12 minus 16 this is difference is minus 4 though this common difference is minus 4 not 4 very important to remember again you can see that 8 minus 12 minus 4 so that is the meaning of ap so arithmetic progression is a progression in which the difference in any two consecutive terms is same and the difference is called as common difference represented by small d small d is tn minus tn minus 1 it means nth term minus n minus 1th term so how we will make the general ap general ap would be a will be the first term second term is a plus d you add the common difference to the first term now you can see that the difference in t2 minus t1 the difference is of d common difference second term would Third term would be a plus 2d. This is first term t1. Second term is a plus d. Third term would be a plus 2d. Again, you can see that the common difference, that is the difference between any two consecutive terms is d. Third minus second. What is the difference? a plus 2d minus a plus d. The difference is d. This is third term. Fourth term by common sense would be a plus 3d. Can I say tenth term would be a plus 9d. And what is nth term? Any general term, nth term would be how much? By common sense. You can see that in 10th term, it is a plus 9d. In nth term, it would be a plus n minus 1 into d. So very important, in an AP, where a is the first term and d is the common difference, nth term is given by this. nth term is given by a plus n minus 1 into d. Where A is the first term, D is the common difference, N is the number of terms. For example, if you want to calculate the 50th term, term number 50th, 
that will be equals to a plus 50 minus 1 49 into d a plus 49 d so in this way you can logically tell what will be the nth term next concept is how to find the sum of first n terms of an ap s n stand for sum of first n terms of an ap so it means that first n terms means term number 1 term number 2 term number 3 up to term number n that is the meaning of sn sum of first n terms now put the values of t1 we know that t1 is a first term second term is a plus d third term is a plus 2d and a term is a plus n minus 1 into d now if you add this what will happen now a is coming how many times we have n terms so a is coming n times if we have 10 term a will come 10 times here we have n terms so a will come n times so a plus a plus a n times that is one side plus d if you take common one thing is d plus 2d plus 3d up to n minus 1 into d d that is the sum now if a is coming n times what we will write if a is coming three times so what we will write 3a if you add need to add a a plus a plus a three times it will be 3a so when i am adding a a a n times it will be n into a take d common you will get 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n minus 1 now here i can apply the concept i know that the basic concept 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n if i have to add consecutive natural number starting from 1 to n there is a concept that is called as n into n plus 1 by 2. If I need to add 1 to n, the formula is n into n plus 1 by 2. For example, if I want to add 1, 2, 3 up to 15, the formula is 15 into 16 by 2. That is 120. So this is the formula that you do need to keep. Remember, now come to the RSN, sum of first n terms. So the concept was n into a, I am just following here n into a d came common so 1 to n minus 1 so it will be n minus 1 into n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 i applied the same formula because when the number of terms terms are n the formula is n into n plus 1 by 2 when number of terms are n minus 1 the formula will be you have to replace n with n minus 1 and what you will get sum of n terms is equal to n into a d into n minus 1 into n by 2 solving this you will get sum of n terms is equals to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d i have just skipped the one step you will get sum of n terms in an ap is equals to n by 2 twice of the first term plus n minus 1 into d that is a uh, concept that you need to remember i have derived this concept so you must understand how this formula came into the picture this is the first n terms of an ap n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d taking a small example that will make your concept clear here i have taken ap 4 7 10 13 up to n terms you need to find the 20th term t20 s10 sum of first 10 terms so here i will take first a is how much a is the first term that is 4 what is the d common difference Common difference is second minus first. 7 minus 4 is 3. You can see that this difference is 3. This is also 3. 10 minus 7 is 3. So can I say the common difference is equal to 3. Now I know that 20th term. I know that nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So 20th term would be a plus 19 d. Put the value of n as 20. So a plus 19 d a is 4 d is 3 19 3 are 57 plus 4 61 sum of first 10 terms we know that sum of first n terms sum of first n terms we know that is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d you have to understand this formula so sum of first 10 terms put the value of n as 10 so this will be 10 by 2 twice of a a is 4 n is 10 9 into d is 3 
n is 10, so n minus 1 would be 9, put the value of d as 3. So we'll get 5 into 8 plus 27. So this will be 5 into 35, you will get 175 as a sum of first 10 terms of this AP. So in this way you can apply the concept and calculate the sum as well as any term of your choice. So that was all about lesson 2 basics of AP. I will continue with basics of AP in the next lesson. Thank you.